<laughs> How do you do? I get ready to start a video. Hey, do buckaroos. Let me start it right anyways. Get ready to start the video. And I just went and watched it through an allergy attack. I had uncontrollable sneezing. So anyway, my eyes are watering. Oh, man. Wow. Brutal. Anyway, so I get what I haven't had before. Cedar Creek Dankosaurus IPA. Let me try to read just a touch from their website. 6.8%, 65 IBUs. The hops are Apollo Bravo and Eureka. I recently had a Eureka hop from uh, the Schlafly Smash Pack. Uh, malts U.S. two-row German Munich. Okay, that's interesting malts for an IPA. Uh, inspired by some of our favorite West Coast IPAs, the bold pine, citrus peach, and tangerine hop flavors, along with the clean bitterness, are balanced by velvety malt backbone. So that's how they describe it. Let's see. How it tastes to us, huh? <laughs> Somebody remarked that I get all, seem to get a lot of tangerines. Yeah, I, I guess I do. But again, from their description, many hop will part with the Oh, yeah. Uh, wow. Um, wow. Hold on a sec. Let me go back to their website. Uh, what did they say? Pine, citrus, peach, tangerine. Yeah, I'm getting a whole lot of peach there. Wow. A lot of pine for sure. Tangerine is probably in there. It's very subtle. I'm getting a lot of that peach, to be honest with you. It does have that kind of dank feel about it. It is a cloudy IPA. You know, not, you know, not East Coast or Boston IPA cloudy, but a little cloudy. Oh, nice. Yeah, it is a good summer IPA. Um, it's very crisp. There's a lot of a lot of flavors going on, a lot of citrus going on. Uh, they don't mention grapefruit, but I'm going to. Uh, yeah, certainly some peach that they they bring up. Uh, there is some tangerine and other citrus going on. A lot of pine, obviously. The peach I find very interesting, though. Yeah, I've had a lot that will impart on apricot, but this one really has those those very those very big peach like notes. Kind of has that dank aroma kind of IPA kind of thing going on. It's likable. Yeah, it was only about nine to six pack, so it, you know it's, it's you know it's certainly right in line for a craft beer, especially with many you know tipping twelve, thirteen, or fourteen these days. Yeah, will I buy this again? Uh, trying to keep this short, sweet. Yes, I will buy this again. It is a very likable IPA. I had the the cream ale just before drinking this one, and I found that enjoyable. So. Uh, my my opinion on that and this, I'm, I'm going to say that it, it certainly is a brewery that folks need to look at. Uh, they are doing some very nice stuff. I'm impressed with both offerings I've had so far. So there you go. I'm gonna, <laughs> I lost what I was going to say. I'm the beer whisperer. Wake up. It's hot, baby. There you go.